to another video of the Celeb Lounge YouTube channel, where we will show you celebrities who insulted Ellen DeGeneres on her own show, and more other things you don't want to miss. Before we start, please make sure to hit subscribe to see more of our new videos, and let us know in the comments below who is your favorite TV host. The Ellen Show has seen a considerable amount of famous people. There were times when the television show queen has managed more than well-meaning benevolent chat, however, with genuine put-down. On top of the list, the generous and the Will and Grace star played around with their verbal competing in the battle of the gays. The two attempted to one-up one another, assaulting the other's vocation, apparently for comedic impact. Ellen remarked on his sitcom being dropped, with Sean Connery contending that it was on longer than Ellen's had been sufficiently reasonable. In any case, at that point, Ellen conveyed the executioner punch. Better believe it, it's hard to believe, but it's true. I needed to come out first for you all to do that sitcom. And boom, game over. How long was it the first time around before no. you all got canceled? <laughs> yeah. I think it was longer than your sitcom. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I had to come out first for y'all to do that sitcom. Go ahead. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> when Williams went on to the show to play Heads Up, and as a sign for Justin Bieber, Williams stated, some people say that he looks like you, making a borrow at Ellen's young, innocent looks. The generous couldn't figure the big name and ignore it later, saying, I don't mind that, he's adorable. With this pair going after the title of number one female host, their professional rivalry is understandable. Thing. So we're going to play a special edition of Heads Up, and I am going to show you okay. uh, a celebrity, and you are going to talk about them, and I'm going to have to guess who you're talking about. By talk what, about them in what way? And just how describing in whatever way that you think I'm going to guess who they are. Okay. 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 I'm nervous. <laughs> Oh, he just won the Os Oscar, and he was Titanic, and he uh, dated Le Super Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, yes. Yep. Oh, um, she's married to Jay Z. Uh, Beyonce. Yes. These are easy. Good. Yeah. Oh, she's got a girl squad, and um, and Taylor Swift. Yes. Okay. Oh gosh. Um, as much as I want to not like him, I love his new song, and he really is cute. And some people say that he looks like you. I've heard that. You've never heard that? They say it in a good way. Who? Uh, he, uh, his, his, okay. What's fine. the song? What's the song? Baby, baby. Oh. I, I, forgot, I forgot the name of the new one. That's not new. No, yeah. no. What, yeah. What's his new song called? I yeah. forget. I know all the words. Yeah. It all happened in a cooking segment when the big name culinary expert Giada De Laurentiis kept making sexual innuendos about the rice balls they were making and then insulted the generous' cooking skills by telling her that her attempt looked like dog food. The Laurentis kept throwing shade, saying, Ellen's balls are self-destructing. It's just making a mess of my work, while Riley commending Kidman's endeavors. The generous and Kidman recovered their own by making faces when they were permitted to attempt the food, with Kidman spitting hers out into her hand. Very Evans, good. It, forget it. Anyway, two or three minutes, and you you'll do start it to all see by them. Feeling right? Listen. Well, to you what can you see them. They're golden. They're, yeah. go <laughs> they're golden brown. I'm see? To learn. <laughs> oh my god! They turn golden These brown like that. Eating. Every time she starts to talk, and turn to me and tell me something. <laughs> well, now Ellen's balls have fallen apart, so I'm going to turn it off because it's just making a mess of my work. A mess in there. All right. All right. It yeah. will after it's baked. Look, you can just go like I'm this. I'm giving up. Look, it can be like a little happy face. Ellen's Look. eating it again. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna fix it. Look. <laughs> there. There, it's all fixed. <laughs> oh, whatever. Why do I even do a cooking segment? I don't even know why I bother. But, uh, that sure is good. It's a little tough. It's a little. <laughs> 
Nicole has been sitting there for like five hours. Oh. I hate doing these things for that reason. I know you're not meant to criticize, but it's a little tough. Do not let my kids say that I did that. Really Next on our list is when Caitlyn Jenner and Ellen annoyed each other after their underlying fellowship about being LGBTQ activists. When Ellen asked Jenner for what valid reason she had been hostile to gay marriage for such a long time, her answer didn't satisfy the Jenners. Considering herself a conventionalist, Jenner said she had been against gay marriage so as to protect the sacredness of marriage as being between a man and a woman. Even though she asserted she has since changed her perspectives, Ellen appeared to be reluctant to trust her and raised the point on Howard Stern. The meeting got under Jenner's skin so much that she returned to it in her journal. I know you're very conservative. And, and you have been very conservative. You've, you've said you're Republican. And, and it's not a bad thing. Uh, yes, no, it's not. A, it's, it, I, look, I, the only you. thing is, you know, a lot of Republicans, I don't want to speak for everyone, would vote against all the issues, you know, that you as a woman and you as a trans person right. would want someone to support. I, I agree with that in some cases. Uh, and same-sex marriage? See, I, gay marriage? Uh, I have to admit that... Um, I remember 15 years ago, 20 years ago, whatever it was when this whole gay marriage issue came up. At first, I was not for it. I mean, I thought, I'm a traditionalist. I'm, I'm older than most people in the audience, you know? I mean, I kind of like tradition. And, you know, it's always been a man and a woman. And uh, I'm thinking, I don't quite get it. But as time has gone on, uh, I think like a lot of people on this issue have really changed your thinking here. Um, to I don't ever want to stand in front of anybody's happiness. You know, that's not my job, mm -hmm. okay? Um, if uh, that word marriage is really, really that important to you, I, I can go with it. This was when Ellen welcomed a visitor to her show that was profoundly foreseen by fans who could scarcely remain in their seats. Kanye West made that big appearance and everybody was amazed with the hotshot that remained before them. For a moment. It wasn't long before he abducted the show by going off on a six-minute moment bluster that had nothing to do with the inquiries Ellen had posed to him. <laughs> okay, I'm with you. Gay is in the building! <laughs> Throw your mother's hands in the air right now! Put your hands in the air right now! Yes? Okay. All right, I'm with you on the truth part. <laughs> We're in a renaissance period. We're in a place where people are like multidisciplined artists like Steve McQueen that directed 12 Years a Slave. He was considered to just be a photographer, but then he won an Oscar. We're not in a place where people can only have one career, one profession throughout their entire life. So the exact amount of uh, emotion and color palette and sonics and everything that I put into my music, I put them into the shoes and they worked. You know, people never write, they like, Kanye's pissing everybody off, Kanye's making so mad. They try to position it through the media in some way that I'm like, whatever, whatever your friends might say. You know, so I always saw Kanye, how was he? Did he like, but I care about people. I care about, my dad lived in homeless shelters less than five years ago to find out he's a psych major. My mom was the first black female chair of the English department at Chicago State University. I was raised to do something, to make a difference, <laughs> to take... <laughs> when Priyanka Chopra appears to be a sweet person with a kind soul, there were no emanations set up to advise anybody that her appearance on Ellen would be an awful one. It came as unexpected that the two would contend about Ellen going to Chopra's wedding to Jonas. Ellen figured she wasn't welcomed. Chopra punched back that she felt like it would be sufficiently bad for Ellen to venture out to India for their pre-marriage ceremony. Elle magazine ran an entire story on how unbalanced this scene was. All right, I got you a wedding gift. Two. Yeah. Even though I wasn't invited to the wedding, but I told I, you you were. We were offended. You didn't arrive. If you don't stop lying, 
I got you a wedding gift, and I think that y'all are going to love it. I don't know which home you're going to hang it in, because I know you have a, a couple of places that you... Um... Oh, that's great. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm doing what I do you're, best. Yeah, you're taking a shot. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just sitting there. It's called oh, Isn't It Romantic? Bad. It's in theaters February 13th, and we'll be right back. We don't know whether Jennifer Lawrence thinks about Ellen's sexual orientation, yet we're almost certain the remainder of the world does. When she appeared on Ellen, she started talking about her cat, which seemed harmless, until she totally blew it. She started talking about masculine versus feminine personality traits that her cat had, and it was all downhill from there. She was hostile and continued spiraling wild, totally unfit to reel her discussion back in. All right, let's talk about your uh, your kitty cat. Now, what made you get the kitty cat? Um, well, I, I wanted a dog, but mm -hmm. I was like, I, I can't take, oh, there she is. How do you not want that? Yeah, little you, Chaz Bono. And you got her, is that, is that her name? Well, her official name's Cleo, uh -huh. but she we call her Chaz Bono because She's, I've never met a cat that like you assume first she's a boy because normally dogs are boys and cats are girls. Right. But she's, she has such a masculine energy that right. everybody always says he. For the right. first week I thought it was a boy. I named her Oliver. Like she had a collar and Oliver and like boy, boy, boy. And everybody's like, what's his name? That's just weird for a cat. So we call her Chaz Bono. Yeah. Um, that's because, her driving. Be, because because uh, those tort torty cats, it's a, that's a tortoise cat. All three color cats are girls. Just so you know that for the future. Any cat with three colors is a female. Whoa. And so, and she drives. Yeah, she and drives. And she's cute as can be. So you got her as a kitten, and when I did- I got her as a kitten. When did I, this uh, problem start? Tell people what she's doing. She's peeing on my bed, uh, because she hates me, and- <laughs> So, but there must have been a reason. They usually do that to act out, because yeah. if she's using the litter box before that, it means either, first of all, do you have a down comforter? Because yeah. they, then she's peeing because it's it's feathers and she's smelling that. That's oh. what happened, and that's even worse that they're peeing on your down comforter because those are expensive. Yeah. So well, I was renting the house, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and you're renting the comforter too? <laughs> I gave it back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for the phone call, but it hasn't happened yet. All so. right. Well, <laughs> that's one thing. If it's if it's a down comforter, and the other thing is it, she's mad at you. She's acting out because yeah, I think it was because I was working and I was gone all home. the time. So she was like, you know. Right. So you have to get her I'm another kitty cat. I have to get her another cat? That's, That's right. the answer? More yeah. cats? So she's not by herself. All she's right, lonely. Yeah. No, People assume cats can just be alone. You need to get her another cat. Yeah, all right, I'll get her We're talking cat. about a cat. Okay, a cat. <laughs> all right. She wants me to get another feline. <laughs> I don't even know what you're I don't even know what all right. uh, doing. <laughs> Silver Linings Playbook is uh, in select theaters now. Go see it. It is so, so good. We'll be right back. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and let us know which celeb was the rudest and how would you act if you were on Ellen's position. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the ring bell.